the implementation of rules and regulations of the Vintage Vehicle Regulation Act will take effect in April. Motoring Forum discusses some of the salient provisions of the IRR. Public Act Number 11698 or the Vintage Vehicle Regulation Act was enacted back in April of 2022. The implementing rules and regulations of RA 11698 was signed by Land Transportation Office Chief J. R. Togade on January 30, 2023. The IRR takes effect on April 17, 2023. It is a long wait for vintage vehicle owners who lobbied hard for the passage of RA 11698, which would allow them to register and use their precious cars, which otherwise won't happen without the law. In essence, RA will exempt vintage cars from such laws as Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999 and the Seatbelt Use Act of the same year. Under RA 11698, vintage vehicles are not required to meet the anti-pollution, safety road use, and other standards that are not enforced at the time of their manufacture, either for LTO registration or for use on local roads. It also allows the registration of classic and vintage cars whose papers or documents have long been lost or are already covered by the Vintage Vehicle Registration Act. The IRR for RA11698 defines vintage vehicles as those that are at least 40 years old, reckoned from the date of manufacture whose chassis, engine, steering assembly, and suspension assembly are either original or authentic, or whose body has not been altered in general appearance. The IRR excludes replicas and reproduction of vintage vehicles. Also excluded are vintage vehicles with modern engine replacements. Other salient features of the IRR include registered vintage vehicles manufactured on or before December 31, 1967 are exempt from the Seatbelt Act of 1999. Vintage vehicles manufactured on or before December 31, 1970 are accepted for the prohibition on the importation, registration, and use of right-hand drive vehicles in Republic Act No. 8506. Vintage vehicles with lost papers may be registered under a vintage vehicle subclassification subject to certain conditions. Vintage vehicles not previously recorded or registered with the LTO and with no evidence of ownership can still be registered subject again to certain conditions and procedures. The IR also provides the following. Minimum standards for the inspection of vintage vehicles. Requirements for the importation and exportation of vintage vehicles. Procedures on the re-stamping of the chassis number. On-site registration of vintage vehicles at permanent exhibits and museum. Vintage vehicles distinctive license number plates. Vintage vehicle owners and auto enthusiasts lobbied hard to get the act passed, and it should be interesting to see if the implementation of the IRR will result in huge numbers of vintage vehicles being registered. That's our Motoring Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.